Tonight, a new six investigation, Flagler County detectives going public. They say they have evidence that proves their building was getting them sick. The debate over the Flagler County Sheriff's Operations Center has really been going on for months now. As News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld explains, the county is refusing to pay the workers comp benefits. I see it. My body's still in recovery. I don't know that I'll ever be 100%. Flagler County Major Crimes Detective Annie Conrad. This is crazy. Something's wrong with me. Is trying to unravel a medical mystery. My condition just gradually got worse. That short circuited her body's immune system. People around me were suffering the same things. With dozens of her co workers facing the same medical unknown. There are so many people that are at risk that have no idea the level of, of danger. She's collected medical evidence documenting skin disorders, memory loss, elevated blood pressure, medical issues shared by men and women who had all been working here, the Sheriff's Operations Center, a former hospital. It just felt like my skin was on fire. This undercover detective can't be identified. She tells News 6 she broke out in a rash three weeks after being assigned to the operations center. My head would itch so bad that I would wake up with blood on my pillow. Court ordered testing of the building was executed on December 13th and again today. This video obtained exclusively by News 6 shows scientists using thermal imaging to uncover pockets of water intrusion that could cause toxic mold. We worked sick and we worked from home. We worked out of our cars. Detective Conrad's physician was convinced the building presented medical risk to her patient. Quote, she would be reinfected if she were again placed in the building. Flagler Sheriff Rick Staley agreed, relocating the entire staff months ago. Staley saying employees should not have to live in fear of their workplace, causing them long-term illnesses. This case, we feel, has the potential to change Florida law. Maitland attorney Jeff Bickler says the issue comes down to the county's refusal to provide workers comp coverage and basic medical care. The county finding no clear and convincing evidence that the work performed was the major contributing cause of illness. For the county to simply deny responsibility uh, and say, well, there's really nothing wrong with you, uh, that, that's just not going to cut it. You know, this isn't just a paycheck to us. We didn't, we didn't take a whole bag of medication to go to work because we want to fake sick. Sheriff's deputies have been relocated to the county courthouse. They're telling me some have improved, but some are still having medical issues. Is the building behind the illnesses? We should have some answers in a few weeks. From the newsroom, Mike Holfeld, News 6. Now we did reach out to the county's attorney for comment. We have not received a response.